Welcome to Buckaroo. Well, how do you do, Buckaroo Star? We'll start by the delay, man. How do you do, Buckaroo? I'm talking to Bear Whisper. Hey, I've got another one from the Southern Prohibition Mix Pack. This is Susie B. Dirty Blonde Ale, 5%, 20 IBUs. An easy drinker that's full of flavor. Our unfiltered ale is perfect for any occasion. This dirty blonde with a pinch of wheat, just a pinch, baby, uh, has a has a nice honey malt backbone and a balanced bitterness set apart by its pleasant cascade hop aroma. Well, how about that? Let's see if it does all that, shall we? Oh, yeah, you can smell those cascades, sure enough. Oh, yeah, baby, that's a bit of that. Oh, that's interesting, yeah. It's called a blonde ale. Typically, when I see a blonde ale, it's a, it's a Kolsch style. This one doesn't call itself a Kolsch. It doesn't feel like a Kolsch in any way whatsoever, to be honest. But I thought maybe that's what they were going for until I took a drink. Uh, I don't think that's what they're going for. It, but it is a blonde ale. What the hell? Uh, um, a little clearer than the other one that I had. Uh, Kind of, it's hard to tell that for sure. I can see that better than uh, that screen is allowing it to, but it's 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 not crystal clear, but close enough. And that's a similar effervescence. Effervescence. I should have had this one first. I had the APA. Um, it has a similar effervescence as the APA. It's a very crisp, clean, kind of a stingy effervescence. It's oh, it's, it's very nice. I love the way they put these beers together. It just shuts it down very nicely. Uh, yeah, it's nice. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. In fact, I don't need to be drinking it fast, but I think I am. Oh, yeah, man. That's smooth, baby. Smooth. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that goes down easier than Tijuana Hooker, man. That's what a good one. Not that I have personal experience, mind you. It's just an expression. People. <laughs> they grew up in California, not far from the border. It was the 80s. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> maybe I inhaled. Maybe just, who knows? I did a lot of things. But if you didn't catch me doing it, I ain't copping to it. Uh, anyways, uh, you lost track, Tom. Yes, I did. Sometimes I lose control completely. It's kind of what I do. That's why I never call what I do a beer review. I'm just yapping, man. Uh, and so, yeah, it's it's good. Um, this is the second of three. It's 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 tasty. The APA is the APA is beyond good, in my opinion. And for a blonde ale, this one is is really is very nice. Again, if you're not a fan of lighter stuff, I, I hate when people drink beers like this. And knock it down for not having flavor it does fit within a style it has plenty of flavor for what it's trying to be is it a big full flavor beer no but it's not trying to be that so judge if you must give a grade which i don't i actually hate people that i don't hate people that do it i just hate that i hate the grade system because most beer reviewers that that give grades are pulling numbers right out their ass they have no set criteria oh it's an 85. why do you give it an 85. tell me tell me how you Show me exactly, show me the piece of paper, show me exactly how you arrived at that con con conclusion. It's an A plus, Tom, or, or it's a C minus. Okay, show me exactly how it is an A plus. Show me exactly how it is a C minus. The truth is there's maybe a handful of beer reviewers out there that can show you actual criteria that they use. Most of them have no freaking clue what they're doing. So anyway, that's my little bit of a rant there. <laughs> It just drives me crazy. I watch guys. Oh, it's it's a C minus. It's a B plus. It's an A minus. I, I see him give a great craft beer. Oh, it's a C minus. Then I see him give a, a crazy macro beer an A plus. And I'm thinking somebody's getting some kickbacks. <laughs> somebody's getting some free beer, baby. If you gave that beer an A plus or something seriously wrong with your taste buds, or you know, <laughs> there you have some integrity issues, my friend. Anyways, uh, this is a good beer. Again, what I was point I was trying to make that I got a little bit off track on was that don't you know don't 
discount lighter beers like this just because, you know, if, if it's not your thing, don't give it a C minus just because you don't get it. It does everything it's supposed to do. It doesn't have big flavor, but it's not supposed to. But everything it does, it does right. So for me, it's a winner, and I would buy this again. I'm from Fear Whisper. Sometimes they go all the way around the bar, man. <laughs> I'll talk to you later.